I do miss DJing. I uh, miss DJing. I miss it, man. Like, you know, before COVID, if I'm sitting there with nothing to do or I got a weekend free, you know, I call somebody up and find a spot to go DJ it. And now I'm stuck sitting there at the house. No, I would have never thought you was a DJ. It's the country accent, man. People yeah. don't, it, thro it throws everybody off. What's your DJ name? DJ Skipper B. <laughs> DJ Skipper B. City of New Orleans, 911. I am at the intersection of St. Charles and Bordeaux, and there is an SUV that just ran into the trolley. A bunch of people trying to help, and they're not getting out. It was really scary. Okay, ma'am, dispatcher has your call. They're sending someone out. They'll be there as soon as they can. Alpha 3250. You guys are going to be going to St. Charles Avenue at Bordeaux. This could be bad, man. Yeah, it definitely could be bad. Titus and I are responding to a motor vehicle accident involving a vehicle and a streetcar. I've seen several people killed by streetcars here in New Orleans, so this has the potential to be a pretty bad situation. Thanks for this, you started to stop. 3250, where else, eh? All right, love, look, it's going, everything's gonna be all right, love. We got you, it's all right. Oh no, we here. It could have been a lot worse. Is anything hurting you, baby? <laughs> Look, calm down. Let's get the stretcher and a seat collar. Right now, I do see that the patient is still alert and able to talk. This young lady is just scared of what happened, which is understand she's a young lady that just got hit by a trolley. Pull it up, scoot it up under her butt. So you feel this board right here up under you? We're going to twist you around, and we're going to sit on it, and then we'll lay you back, all right? Whenever you're ready, you count, and then you move, OK? We put a seat collar in place as a precautionary measure, and we decided to use a backboard to remove her from the vehicle. We don't want to cause any further injuries, because we don't know what injuries she has at this point. All right, lay straight back. <laughs> All right, one, two, three. <sighs> what we're going to do is we're going to get you out this weather, all right? We know this could be serious. She's complaining of leg pain now, but until we get her into the ambulance, we really don't know what's hurting this young lady. So this left leg is the one that hurts you, and this left arm, right? Yes, side. Yeah. And your side. You had your seatbelt on, Law? Yes. All right, we're going to shut those gates, and we're going to get the gun, all right? I think you're going to have to get that new 2021 joint, though. <laughs> that one, that ain't. That look like that's a pretty new car, too. Let's roll out and get this young lady to the hospital. When I was young one time, I was driving. I hit a street car, too. So I, was, I, was, I didn't see it. You didn't see it? Like, I was looking, but I didn't see it. You just didn't see it. And I didn't hear it either. Usually, you know, you can't. Yeah, you can hear it coming, right? You born and raised here, right? Yes. So, so you used them, so you thought that yes. you could hear it. All right. Just for you, love, and you all right, I'm going to throw you a bead, all right? I'm a, Hell, <laughs> so look, we gonna bring you so it's for running into the streetcar, we're gonna give you a whistle. So next time you pass in front of the streetcar, we want you to blow this whistle so they can stop, okay? <laughs> At this point, people just need a, a good joke, man, a good laugh to calm them down. And then once you bring anxiety to a low, now you able to assess the patient and get good vital signs and just get that communication with the patient. Let me get a little information. I feel comfortable that she's gonna walk out this hospital just being a little sore, but she could have a broken leg or internal injury. She did just get hit by a two-ton object. All right, love, we help. Girl, I'll make you look good when you go in this hospital. <laughs> that look beautiful. So there you go, love. Man hasn't been chewed enough. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh-oh. Ah. <laughs> ah. I don't know why mine went up a little big. Don't work at it. I'm on a struggle bus right now. What she got? I'm, I'm on the struggle bus. I'm gonna have more gum in my beard than I'm gonna have in my mouth. Mm. You're gonna be Captain Gumbeard tonight. I know. Aboard the struggle bus. We get a call for a two-year-old that the parents noticed some swelling, she has some hives, so possibly having an allergic reaction. 
What's going on? She on egg, uh, noodles. She ate some noodles. Like, uh, the shrimp. The shrimp. She might be allergic to shrimp. We We're gonna to take her to the hospital, TV. okay? She's got a little bit of swelling under her eyes, and I can see some hives and redness on her skin. So I would call it, you know, an allergic reaction, definitely. I'm just warning you. Sadly, we're about to make her cry. <laughs> because we're gonna have to start an IV on her and give her some Benadryl. You wanna sit? Let me you slide right sit. over there, baby. Allergic reactions Hi. and children Hi. are scary. Can I see this arm? Oh. I know peanuts and shellfish both can cause anaphylaxis very quickly. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. What is this? Yeah, I know, it's it? wet. You see that? Wet. Yeah. You're terrible at distracting. Watch that. Arm. Water treats food. Water treats food. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my God, I know it. I'm it's so okay. sorry. That's it. No more. That's it. I'm Done. so sorry. I'm not her friend anymore. She ever had shrimp before? Yeah. She had shrimp. shrimp. You want to sit in a big girl chair? Allergic reactions are so weird. You can have that first initial one put you in anaphylaxis, and you can die from it. Let's go um, one to two milligrams per kilogram. Or you could be one of those people where you have that mild reaction first, and then if you come into contact with it again, it's a little more severe and then more severe, until eventually, if you come into contact with it, it'll cause you anaphylaxis. Let me see. Eyes not going to hurt up for us. That's it. No more. It's okay, boo boo. You all right? Yeah, it's actually common for the throat to itch a little bit right afterwards. Plus, be her being upset. She'll pass in just like two seconds. I saw that screaming. Yeah. Okay. Here you go. I gave her the Benadryl, and you know she started to vomit a little bit, which is fine. That's a normal side effect, especially for kids. It's okay. It's okay. Thirty-two, thirty-four. Go ahead. Still, you know, watching this cute little baby vomit and, and get a little shaky from the Benadryl, it makes you a little bit sad to be the bad guy. It does. You want to hold it for a second? Would that make you feel better? Okay. And look, she might get a little tired too, okay? Yeah, she's gonna That's be pretty super normal. Sleepy. So she might actually even go to sleep, all right? Anytime we get, you know, such a sweet, you know, pediatric patient, it's like a little break. What kind of birthday party is she having? Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Your skin looks better already. You're gonna be perfect for your party tomorrow. You're welcome. You know, you're you're dealing with grumpy adults or very sick adults. And so to get, you know, that little breath of, of fresh air and to just have the chance to laugh with a child and, you know, play with them a little bit and things like that. It, it's definitely a break in the night. Why are you so cute? We're going to a motor vehicle accident that's out on Highway 11 Bridge. We got fire in both aspects. 10 4 copy that. Vehicles on fire and people trapped. Fire car has to be there now. Doesn't sound good. We've had some really bad accidents on that bridge. It's just a little two-lane bridge, and it's very dark. Not on scene. Wow. Was in her seat, got a busted nose. Mom's probably got a broken arm. There's nobody in the other vehicle. Or a male. This is the occupant of the other vehicle. Oh, okay. So we have four total. Yeah. All right. We get a call for uh, MVA. There are two vehicles, one that is still smoking, and another that has two children in it, along with the driver. The driver of the car that caught on fire, she was very lucky. Apparently, a passerby stopped and opened a door and helped her out of the vehicle before it got fully engulfed in flames. We got her out. I had to move her. Like I said, I wouldn't sure any kind of spinal issue. All right, let's get a, I got the, this, I think this one has uh, the seat, the car seat in it. The baby is maybe four or five months old. She's a newborn almost. Got her. I see some brush burns on her, like a little abrasions to the head. She starts crying, so that's always a good sign. Oh, my goodness. Because that means that they're feeling any pain that they might have and that they're scared and know what's going on. If you have a baby that's quiet, that has just been through 
uh, something as traumatic as this, that's always a, a cause of concern. That one's OK? I get the baby girl all set. And firemen bring her older sister in. OK, what hurts on you? That hurt? All right. All right. You want me to get you a little something that's coal and put some coal on it? All right. I start to talk to her and, and assess her. I see she's got some swelling to her lips and nose area. You want to hold that? You want me to hold it? All right, I'm going to sit right here and hold it for you. Can you wiggle your feet? Oh, very good. I like those tennis shoes. Uh, the firemen were taking care of the mom. Apparently, she had a, um, what appeared to be a broken arm or a broken elbow. Um, your mom, we're going to get your mom in in just a minute, OK? The baby, look, I got your baby. She's doing good, too. She keeps asking about the baby. I thought she was asking about her sister. I kept telling her, baby's right here. She's fine. She's fine. Oh, my God. She's got a doll in the back. All right, we're going we're gonna to get your doll for you. Come to find out, she was talking about her baby doll. Christine's going to go get your doll, OK? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's got that little mark on her head. That would meet trauma criteria. The mom is in a lot worse shape than the children, so we need to get her to the doctor. Are you all right with them going to Oshner, or you want them at university? The two children, they were very lucky that they were properly secured in car seats, and that's the only thing that saved their lives. If that hadn't been in play, I'm almost pretty sure there would have been at least one fatality, if not two. It's hot, huh? I keep thinking I'm having hot flashes. <laughs> Gonna be 41 year old female that had a seizure and hit her head. She began to see. Going to a 41 year old lady who evidently had a seizure, hit her head when she fell. So she's an epileptic and has a history of seizures. She has a history of seizures? Yeah, so she has a history of seizures. That's just epilepsy. Hopefully, she'll be awake and talking whenever we're there. Mm-hmm. When you fall and hit your head, there's always a risk of some sort of internal injury that we can't see. You can have a bleed into your brain, which can then cause more seizing and then more trauma and then more injury, and it's a bad day. Are we here? Yeah, we like to see. There's nobody here. It's in the back. I don't know. I'll hop out and see. How you doing? Did y'all call EMS? Yeah. Hey, hey baby. Oh, How you doing, dear? She fell. She had a seizure. She I normally catch her before she fell. You you had a seizure. You fell and hit your face on the bed. All right, come hey, Kendra, on out with us, my dear. Can you walk on out to the ambulance for us? So you you had a seizure, you fell and hit your mouth, OK? Come on, let's just walk right out here, with, and we're going to check you out. All right, dear? Put a... No, you got a jacket on. Yeah. Let's just walk out just like this. We're just going to get your set of vitals, make sure everything's OK, yeah. all right? Come on, sweetheart. Responding to a patient who had a seizure, she fell, she's injured herself. It's important that we evaluate her quickly so that she gets the care that she needs. OK. Come on, sweetie. Yeah, you can go to cry. Mama's all right. You stay right here for just a second, all right? I got something for you. Come on, baby. I'm going to help you out a little bit. Kendra, can you have a seat right here for me, sweetheart? Just have a seat right there. There you go. Just have a seat. There we go. It's always difficult to see a patient's children upset, but right now our focus has to be on the patient herself to make sure that she's all right. All right. We'll turn the heater on for you. When we see this, I'm going to take a blood pressure, OK? Hey, baby. You had a seizure, OK? I know I keep telling you that. I think it's because you keep forgetting. I've been having seizures all my life, OK? OK. Since the age of five years old. Hey, hey, that's fine. We're just here to check you out, that's all. So I'm just going to start an IV over here just in case you have another seizure, OK? Do you know what causes the seizures? 
I have, um, it's like, they say, if I, I already, uh, I stress out too much, it's, it's, it's causing you to have a seizure if I stress out. Right. We're in the middle of a global pandemic, which has been very stressful for pretty much everyone. So it's no surprise that the patient has been feeling extra stressed and it may have exacerbated her seizure disorder. Hold on one second, so we're gonna get a mask on you, okay? All right. All right, let me see this arm, baby. Two more stickers here, okay? Bye, Mama. Bye, Mama. Love you. Love you, Mama. Now listen, this little guy says no more crying, okay? Now he or she's gonna need a good name, okay? Okay. All right. I want to see a couple things real quick. Okay, close your mouth all the way. Uh-huh. Now open your mouth. Open. Okay, good. Now move your jaw from side to side for me. Just make sure everything lines up good. Make sure your jaw's okay. How long should we have to be in that at night? That, I do not know. Did you want to give your mom a hug before she goes? coronavirus pandemic has really changed how hospitals allow visitation. Her children will not be able to visit her in the hospital, and that's terrible. That's heartbreaking. All right. <laughs> All right, off to university? Yeah, on a uh, one. Sounds good. I'm having a kid. I can only hope mine is as cute as yours. Your kids are adorable. calls with children kind of tends to tug at your heart a little bit. They tend to relate more personally. Let's go say hi to the little guy. Four on Hey, big guy. What's up? You OK? You scared? What are you scared of? Yeah, that's from breathing so fast. Take it easy. You'll be all right. Let's take this out your mouth. I'm going to listen to you breathing, OK, big guy? Yeah? Asthma? How old are you, Bubba? Nine. Nine. Man, you look like you're 10 at least. I thought you were like 24. Take a nice, easy deep breath. So you're breathing down. There you go. Now, when you take a deep breath, does it hurt pretty bad right in there? Where's the heart point to it for me? Right there. You've been coughing? Every time I cough, I get a headache. You get a headache? Well, you got to stop that coughing, then you don't want no headache, do you? The thing he's saying is when he takes a nice deep breath, he's having some chest pain. Now it could be pneumonia. Does he have does he have a history of pneumonia? Okay, has he had a fever? Yeah. Okay. Asthma in itself, if left untreated, can be dangerous. Now we learn he has a history of pneumonia. Everything's a little more serious. Our main goal at this point in time is to keep him calm and let him know that everything's gonna be okay. Is that pain feeling a little better in your chest? No? Put you back on this stuff again here. You still scared? I ain't gonna do nothing to hurt you, all right? No needles, no nothing. How about that? Sound like a plan? All right, you ever seen a picture of your heart before? You want to? Right there? That's your heartbeat. Each time it beats, this big line forms those, okay? You want a picture of that? When I'm treating kids, I tend to treat them as my own, so I take all kids very serious and personal. You want to give me a bump? All right. You kind of miss, but I'm going to let you slide because you don't feel good. You making good grades? Promise? All right, I'm going to keep track of you. You don't smoke, right? You don't drink alcohol? No. You don't do drugs? No. You better never start. I'm proud of you, kid. Uh, Grandma, you do a good job. Treating kids can be very rewarding. To see him start to smile toward the end is a tremendous feeling. I think this guy is going to be just fine with a little rest and some breathing treatments. My man, what you got there? Your heart? You're holding your heart in your hand? He's holding his heart in his hand. That's just crazy. Hang on to that now.
safe, be strong. Let's do this. Get that stretcher in here. You're gonna bleed to death. Ransom house, ransom house. They're not dead. I can work with that.